Hi and welcome to the screencast. I'm your host Mohamed Azam and in this particular screencast I will show you that how you can use a one of my own controls which is uh, cache and session manager in your application to view the items from the cache. You can also remove the dependencies, remove the cache keys or discard the cache items. Uh, I have already included a reference to that particular assembly it's called sharp cache sharp session cache handler it's basically an HTTP handler so I'll ha also have to go to the HTTP handler section of my web.config and I have to add it over here so I've added it right over here okay so if I run the page right now and this is my default page so it really doesn't have anything now I can go to that page by saying cache and session exd and you'll see that it comes with this particular uh, you know view and it, you can actually select from cache session or application and currently there are no items in any of those things as you can see so let's go back to our page and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, another uh, I mean load up the other page with this okay so now in this insert in cache I will insert any item into the cache so let's go over there let's go to the button click event and this is cache dot insert and I can say okay foo and I'm inserting object foo so the key is foo and the value let's just say value is foo value okay let's refresh it Now I'm going to say insert into cache. Let's go over here and refresh it. And now you will see that the item foo with the key string type this uh, is actually inserted into the cache. Now I can also delete the item from the cache and I don't have to restart my application because if I go to the server and make any changes like press a spacebar in web.config it's going to restart the whole thing and all the cache values, session values and all uh, the application uh, everything will be gone so instead of that I can simply go and delete from here I can also say view details and it will it's going to show me that it contains a string with a value of foo value okay now you can also do some sort of a different thing say cache.insert and uh, let's say file or let's say menu this is like menu and the object value is uh, you can insert anything over here okay so I can say over here okay the value is this menu and menu new cache dependency and you can have the dependency on a file so I'm going to say server dot map path and uh, let's just say that I'm putting a dependency on style sheet for some reason style sheet one dot CSS okay oops over here uh, date time absolute expiration so I'm going to say date time dot now dot add mm, well let's let's say days going to expire in 10 days and I can say over here time span dot zero let's build this application okay so we are basically putting our dependency into style sheet one dot CSS file what I'm saying is that uh, it's going to expire in 10 days but it will also expire if I go to this style sheet onecss and make a change okay so and the, the key and the value is actually menu and menu so let's go over there and refresh our page so now if I insert into cache basically item uh, the dependency on the file has been created and let's go ahead and uh, oops let's go ahead and refresh that actually that particular item didn't exist at that point because I rebuilt it but anyway uh, now you can actually also see that there's a menu key and there's a dependency on the file that also shows you the name of the file on which the dependency is created if I say view details it's just going to pull out the value so this is pretty cool so because if you have a dependency on a file 
then it will also show you that particular uh, case that the dependency is actually you know uh, is triggered on on the file itself and uh, not on the uh, dates and all that stuff so that's pretty much it I hope you use this tool and uh, the basic purpose is to actually to delete the item uh, so now it's actually deleted and there is no dependency on the file okay so next time when actually that particular key is requested it will be taken from the file that's pretty much it um, if you have any questions you can email me at azamsharp at gmail.com if you are interested in advertising for high with high on coding you can also email me at azamsharp at gmail.com thank you very much